കഴിഞ്ഞ ഇരുപത്തിമൂന്ന് വർഷമായി തൂത്തുക്കുടിയിലെ സ്റ്റെർലൈറ്റ് പ്ലാന്റിനെതിരായ സമരത്തെ മുന്നിരയിൽ നിന്ന് നയിക്കുന്ന ഫാത്തിമ ബാബു നമ്മോടൊപ്പം ചേരുകയാണ് സമരക്കാർക്ക് മുന്നിൽ ഇനി എന്താണ് ഇനി എങ്ങനെ സമരം മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകും എന്ന കാര്യത്തെക്കുറിച്ച് അവരോട് നമുക്ക് ചോദ്യങ്ങൾ ആരായാം ഇരുപത്തിരണ്ടാം തീയതി നടന്ന സമരത്തെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് താങ്കൾ വിലയിരുത്തുന്നത് people of tutukuran could make the government could make the company understand that we don't want them here i'm saying so because for the past 23 years we've been try we've been trying out every mode of activism every mode of expression to let the government know to let the industry know that they are torturing us too much we are, the people have been affected by all kinds of diseases for the past two decades people are dying of cancer we want them out of our town we want to live in dignity we want to live with health with a good environment but they don't seem to understand the language so we reached a point where we could no longer bear all this atrocity we reached a point we had to take a decision that we have to talk in a language that they understand and that was why we decided on this mode of the protest that was held on that day to go and occupy the venues the premises of the collectorate sit there till somebody from the government woke up to our distress call heard our distress call came to our field and sat with us and spoke to us and tried to understand how exactly we feel what we want from them so i think this is the way i look at the protest annu nadana sambhavangalil sarkarinte role endayirunnu ennaanu karuthunnathu the government has sadly unfortunately in a country like us one of the most extremely sorry to say so but uh, which has been assessed as one of the most corrupt countries in the world i have always been proud of my country but i have to make a mention of this the government has always taken the side of the corporates the corporates actually rule the country they rule the roost they break all the laws of the land with impunity and the government is not bothered it's not concerned about the people on whose with whom taxes they are paid all the politicians are paid they take the side of the corporates because there is so much of exchange of money and they are willing to slaughter their own children in the name of development in with misconceived conception perceptions of the theory of development government has gone ahead saying uh, that they were inclined to shut down sterlite but anil agarwal has made a statement that they have uh, just temporarily shut down the company for maintenance work the annual maintenance and they will get back to job very soon so this is a very big contradiction not only that even if the government comes out with an open statement that they are shutting down shop we are not willing to accept that statement because we have had all this demic all through these years so many statements have come saying we are for the people all our decisions are for the people we won't let the people down and ultimately they let down the people they kill their own people rakta sakshi kudumbangal sandarshichirunno it's with a heart full of pain and anguish that i have to talk about the families that have lost their beloved ones but i would like to place on record uh, i would like to place on record that the losses are not to their families alone it is a, it is a loss to the entire town of tutukuran it's a loss to the entire state of tamil nadu it's a loss to the entire country that's called india because the struggle has been won between a corporate trying to make money at the expense of our lives and people who are trying to fight for their rights over their lands over the earth over the air water over their own lives so this is the way i look at the uh, bereaved families we are there with them we feel bereaved too we have lost our loved ones and no compensation can make up for this loss samarathinte baavi endha irikkum samarathe ini enganeyaanu munnotu kondu povuva we are not our normal selves it's not easy to get back to normalcy we have lost lives lives of children lives of the head of the head of the family lives of our parents so it's not easy to get back to 
normalcy. But that does not mean we are going to sit back and cry over what has happened. These losses will cause us, will motivate us to spring back to life and to give the company what it deserves. I would appeal to my Kerala brethren, brothers and sisters of Kerala, please stay with us. Please be with us. Be in solidarity with us. I would appeal to the politicians of Kerala, speak for us, use every opportunity to take up our cause, be of support. You did that when Oki happened. And we are sure the people of Kerala, the politicians of Kerala will be on our side too. Thank you, ma'am.